in this super exciting geometry problem, we got this square ABCD and there is this quarter circle inside it and its center is the vertex of the square. And there is also a semicircle tangent to the quarter circle and its center is this point O. The only clues we have are that this distance here is 5 and that this distance here is 1. And we are asked to find the green area which includes this small region up here as well as this larger region below. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's call the radius of the semicircle r. And this distance here is also r. Now it turns out the side of the square equals 2r plus 1. Let's put that expression up here. Now let's call the radius of this big quarter circle capital R. If we add this 5 to capital R, we get the side of the square. So let's also write that as an expression up here. We can put an equal sign between the two expressions because they both equal the side of the square. Next, let's subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. We get this. Capital R equals 2R minus 4. Awesome. Let's quickly replace the capital R here with that. Now, let's draw this straight line that goes from the center of the quarter circle to the center of the semicircle. This part of the line is the radius of the quarter circle. So it equals 2R minus 4. And this part is the radius of the semicircle. So it's just R. This angle is 90 degrees because it's in the corner of the square. We've got a right triangle here. Now, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle that are its shorter sides equals the square of its hypotenuse, that is its long side. This is one of the legs of our right triangle and its length is r plus 1. So let's take the square of that. Here is the second leg and its total length is 2r plus 1. Let's take the square of that too. And finally we have the hypotenuse here and it's got a total length of 3r minus 4. Let's take the square of that too. And next we start opening up the brackets. This becomes r squared plus 2r plus 1. This becomes 4r squared plus 4r plus 1. And on the other side of the equation, we've got 9r squared minus 24r plus 16. Now it's time to add up the like terms on this side. r squared plus 4r squared is 5r squared. 2r plus 4r is 6r. And 1 plus 1 is 2. Next, we subtract this stuff from both sides to clear up the equation. The left hand side becomes a nice and clean 0. And on the right hand side, we get 4r squared minus 30r plus 14. We've got a quadratic equation, which can be factorized into this, so that r must be either 7 or 1 over 2. Now, 1 over 2 looks weird and unlikely as a value for the radius of our semicircle. So let's try it to see what happens. r is this radius over here. So let's go ahead and replace both of these radii with 1 over 2. This distance has to be 1. And we've got another distance 1 over here. So the side of the square turns out to be 2. And that means this side AB must also be 2. But hold on a second, this line segment over here is 5, it's bigger than 2 and the part cannot be bigger than the whole, so the side of the square cannot be 2 and r cannot be 1 over 2 and consequently it must be 7. Let's keep this finding up here, we can now replace these r's with 7's. So on this side we have 1 and 7 and another 7, it all adds up to 15. That means this side is also 15 and we've got this 5 here, so this segment must be 10, which is the radius of the quarter circle. Now let's divide this entire shape into three regions. Let's name this quarter circle region B because it's blue and let's name this semicircle region Y because it's yellow and let's name this whole green region region G because yes you guessed right it's green. These three regions add up to the area of this entire square. Here we express that as an equation. Now my son will find the area of the square ABCD. Go ahead son. Hello everyone, what side of this square is 15? To find its area, we take the square of 15. And that equals 15 times 15 and that equals 225. And I calculated this myself. Thank you for the help, son. Let's put 225 here. And let's now find the area of region B. It's a quarter circle. And its radius is 10. To find the area, we take the square of 10. Then we multiply it by pi. And then we divide it by 4 because it's the quarter of a square. The result is 25 pi. So let's replace this b over here with that value. And finally, let's find this yellow region y, which is a semicircle with a radius of 7. Again, we take the square of the radius, multiply it by pi, and then divide it by 2 because it's a half circle. We do the math and we get 49 pi over 2. Let's put that value into our equation. We are very close to finding the green area. Let's add these two together. It's 99 pi over 2. 
we take that to the other side and the green area we want to find turns out to be 225 minus 99 pi over 2. That's it people. This is the result we have been working to find, the area of the green region. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.